Here's a new to me palm. This is a, an unusual or maybe, ah, maybe it's not unusual. I don't know. I think it's, it's a kind of a hard to get one. I'm sure people in other areas might say otherwise, but uh, this is Trithinax acanthacoma. It's from areas, I believe in uh, Southern Brazil down into Uruguay. And uh, it's just a, an interesting um, fan palm. Not a whole lot of information on it. Uh, I did read that it, it grows in um, clay soils. Um, it's one of the uh, monkey puzzle type trees, uh, Orcania gustifolia. Um, and it is tolerant of fire, um, cold hardiness. Seems to be around zone 9A possibly colder. I'm zone 8B, so I'm, I'm going to try it here. It's a little yellow. I mean, it's in the pot and it's very root bound. Um, I'm going to assume, you know, well-drained soil, full sun location. Um, I'm thinking of removing some grass in my front yard and I may actually put it out there. So I might just put it into a slightly larger pot for this winter and wait until spring to plant it out. But you can see, I mean, it's a fan palm, kind of similar to, you know, like a Fortuna. It almost looks like, the, the fans almost look like, a, um, they're similar in size to a Mediterranean fan palm, but maybe a little bit, uh, little bit that each, you know, each segment's a little bit thicker. But what is nice about this palm is it has a, and you'll see it more on the big ones, it has a very interesting, um, kind of pattern to the fibers. It's like a woven pattern. I don't know if you can see that. And it actually does have like, ouch, jeez. <laughs> it actually does have needles. You can see them. They're not um, the stiffest needles, but I can attest that they still hurt. Uh, it's not like a needle palm where that thing will like embed into your hand, but uh, they're sharp. So. <laughs> Uh, this one's been growing on this one I mean I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is is 10 years old especially since it's been in a pot I'm trying to show you the the fiber on this side now there is another species of trithionex uh, it's trithionex compestris and I have heard of uh, people having success with that in, in uh, BC um, this one I, there was a couple people in the UK that have tried to grow this and they said that it didn't really like the winters that much. So that's a bad sign for me. Um, it was a bit of a impulse buy, to be honest. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up at the price. So I kind of read about it after the, <laughs> after the fact, but what, what my plan is, is, is I'm going to, let me see, there's two front from it. Um, well my plan is like I said I think I'm gonna put it into a bigger pot you know maybe hopefully get it to green up um, leave it outside most of the time maybe bring it into the garage on the cold nights and next year plant it out and maybe I just put a uh, just like a small like a plastic a clear plastic roof over it during the winter just to keep the water off of it I'm not sure so if any of you are growing this and have any tips, please let me know. Thanks for watching.